Hi my friend, Marian Santos here potentials.com signing at our channel. So today let me wear my parents hat or Mamsi, Mamsi's tools tayo ngayon. So yung series natin about how to handle our children. So maraming challenges yan, lalo na ngayon araw-araw yung silang kasama kasi they don't have school. Diba? So ano, how do we handle? Ano, ano ba yung mga different ways or Mom, si ano ba yung mga tips mo sa amin? What are the tools that we can use, no? So, yung ano natin is building your child's self-image. Ano ba yung self-image? It's the way we see ourselves. So, sometimes kasi sa kakasabi natin na we are stupid or we are clumsy. So, nagiging totoo yun. So, we have to be careful with what we tell our children. So, number one, uh, how to build our ano is teach your child to be competent. Ano ba yung competent? These are skills. So, depende ilang taon ba yung anak natin. So, kung maliit pa lang siya, how to eat, how to take a bath, how to dress up, how, kung malaki na siya, elementary, how to do his assignments. So, competence or skills nga, kung nagtatrabaho na, so work naman, uh, kailangan dyan mo matito mag-interview, gumawa ng pero, those are the competencies. So, depende sa stage natin in our life, ano ba yung competence na yan. Number two is, like your child, make him, make sure he knows you do. So, kailangan, malamdaman, hindi lang like, actually, love your child. So, dapat maramdaman niya na we love him. Mahal natin, gusto natin yung ginagawa natin niya. And he is part of our life. So, love your child, not just like. Number three is, give him many sources of praise. Siyempre, pag nagpipraise tayo, dapat makatotohanan naman. Kasi kung fake yung praise natin, eventually, hindi naman niniwala yung children natin na tama sila. So, kaya nga yung competence, importante na maturuan natin sila ng mga tamang uh, skills, skill sets, or work, or responsibility. Para yung mga tamang ginagawa niya, yun, doon natin siya ipipraise, di ba? Help him. Number four is help him fight his personal dragon. So, yun, parang we teach him them, kaya nga natin sila teenage maging competent, para harapin nila yung personal dragons ka nila, no? So, siyempre sa school, hindi naman tayo buong maghapon nasa school, di ba? So, kung competent sila, kung alam nila yung skills nila, alam nila yung responsibility nila, they will be able to face these personal dragons. Kaya nga, importante, we teach them how to be competent, how to be self-reliant, how to stand on their own. Kasi you cannot fight their own battles. Eh. Number five, give him chances to make decisions, to be responsible. So, since competent na nga siya and he could be self-reliant and so, he could uh, be responsible at makakapag-decide siya sa situation, especially pag nag-school age na yan, di ba? While it's school. So, minsan kasi may mga maliliit na decision, but this one, about kung whether to eat his lunch or uh, spend his baon sa so things na hindi naman niya kailangan. So, th those are little decisions that our children have to learn. Eh. So, kahit doon, dapat mag-start. So, dapat marunong siya to make his own decision or face his own battles. Number six is don't criticize his honest mistakes. So, lahat naman tayo nagkakamali, di ba? Kahit na tayo ng mga adults na nagkakamali tayo. So, but be constructive. Kung makikriticize man tayo dun sa may nakita tayo. But I think uh, ako as a guidance counselor, we have to tell them kung ano din yung mali sa behavior niya. Kasi I believe hindi siya matututo kung hindi natin intulo kung ano yung uh, mali sa ano. But don't criticize. Diba? Parang focus on the behavior, not on the person. So hindi yung you're stupid or tanga ka, but more of ano ba yung pagkakamali. Na mali ito, you have to do what is right. Number seven, don't make impossible demands. Yan. So, baka napakahirap naman yung pinapagawa natin. So, we have to be realistic, reasonable, and realistic dun sa mga tasks na ipapagawa natin. So, baka tayo mismo hindi natin mag... So, don't make impossible demands. So, create situations na achievable para sa kanya. Kasi yung small victories will help him feel good about himself. Next is, number eight is, don't live too heavily, don't lean too heavily on your children for your own support. So, minsan kasi tayo, di ba, nagkakaroon din tayo ng personal problem. So, ibang parents, parang sumasandal sila dun sa kanilang mga children. So, baka kasi 
siguro kung of age siya, pero paano kung bata pa? So, nagiging burden tayo sa kanina at nagiging mahirap din yung buhay sa kanina. So, that's what is meant by that. Have break number nine. Have regular times alone with each child. So, yan. So, sabi ko nga yung sa weekly dates, hindi ko yun nagawa. But, sabi nga, find time to have uh, personal time with your individual children. So, yun. Uh, how, kasi meron sila iba-ibang problems. So, sabi ko nga, before I have this dear mom notebook, uh, both my twin daughters, meron silang tag-isa. I don't remember na dun sa eldest ko, eh, na kung meron siya ng dear mom notebook. Pero yung dalawa kasi, madalas yun ang sumulat sa akin. Either their feelings, or kung anong assignment nila that I need to research or I need to buy. Number 10 is create a climate of encouragement in your house. So, yan. So, ako nung time where they were young, I as always, kasi mahilig ako sa books eh. Kaya, mahilig ako sa books. Madami nga tayong books, diba? We have a library upstairs. So, yan. I buy, hindi lang ako nagbabay ng books for me, but even their books for them also. Tsaka, mga artworks or uh, mga pipes. May pipes nga ako nun na hindi, hindi na nila nagamit eh. Tag isa-isa sila, di ba? And I have uh, guitars. So, kung ano man yung ma-afford ko na mga tools that they can use in the, to improve themselves. Yeah. So, and encourage them. Number 11, last but not the least, give him plenty of reason to think of himself as a good person niya. So, kaya nga encourage and or positive self-image para makita niya yung sarili niya. He is a child of God na he can do uh, his best, he can uh, cultivate his talents, he could be a best, best person. Yung potential niya, mauhong niya yan. God bless you all. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and like our video.